I can hardly believe I'm saying this. I mean, like, Fat Shark value OLED screens. Stay tuned because that's exactly what this is. G'day, Stu from UAV Futures here, and today, well, what we're checking out is this bad boy right here. This is the fresh off the press, the Attitude V5s, and I can hardly believe my eyes because Fat Shark in the past makes some absolutely incredible stuff. The HGOs are some of the best goggles. They are the best goggles you've ever seen, but they are so pricey, and that's one of the things I've been the most critical about, and I can't believe it. We actually have a value pair of goggles right here coming in from Fat Shark. Now, these are the Attitude V5s offering some very, very cool stuff and probably the biggest feature. I'm talking OLED screens in here for you people. So if you want to get into the hobby, you want to try OLED without breaking the bank, Fat Shark has been listening. It comes with everything we need and it's a very exciting time for FPV, especially people. I feel like 300 bucks, yes, it's a lot of money. I'm not saying it's church change at all, but 300 bucks, it seems to be the point where value, in my opinion, meets performance and we have some stiff competition in here. So definitely what we're going to do, we're going to put it on the bench, break it down, look at the text and the specs, what makes this so special, what it comes with, and then most importantly, we're going to take it out to the field. I'm going to fly it around. You'll see some DVR. You'll see my impressions. We'll check out with some other pilots. So we've got, uh, I think, Crash Desk Kells out there. We'll see what he thinks about these goggles. We'll see what Long Range Tony thinks. We'll really put it through its paces and find out, is this a good goggle? Is this going to serve you well, especially if you're getting into the hobby? You want to make this choice right. And then stay tuned. Make sure you watch the whole video because towards the end, we'll talk about the Sky O2s. Compare them a little bit because there's some pros and some cons and some big pluses. This goggle actually does come with a fair bit. So definitely stay tuned. Watch the video, but let's kick it off. Jump in. Do a bit of a bench overview and then we'll go have the fun stuff out in the field. So essentially what this is as an overview and hopefully this is in shot in the roof cam. As an overview the things we get in it we get a patch antenna which is actually pretty good. We get a circular polarized antenna so it's really nice that we get some higher quality antennas. If you get these you don't need to upgrade that's a nice little plus we'll put that to the side. We've got the unit itself but then one of the stars of the show for me we actually get one of the Fat Shark battery cases for the 18650s. These things are absolutely gold you can see I've been using this one quite a lot. I've just got some old laptop batteries in there. Thank you very much, Tony. And this thing, it's going to last all day. So you put one pair of batteries in, you're ready to rock and roll. So you can fly all day. You don't have to worry about your headset going flat. So put that to the side. I absolutely love that. And then the other part, uh, if we put it on the scales, it's coming in at, and this is just the goggle itself, at about... 190 grams. Oh, you can't even see that. I put the strap in the way. Excuse me. 192, 93 grams for so a very, very light goggle. Much lighter than some of the other ones out there like their HDOs or the HDV2s because traditionally Fat Shark I find are the most comfortable goggle. Making them as light as you can is an absolute must in my opinion. And then the other one which is pretty exciting, we've got our diversity module. We'll talk about this a little bit more when we break it down, look at the features as well. But yeah, it also comes with a built-in module. So essentially, you're getting everything you need to get up and get flying. Uh, minus the batteries. Let's do it. Let's go around have a look at some of the features of this goggle so you can see I guess first things first you're going to notice it is a nice green color. We've got a fan on the outside. The rest is pretty similar to what you're normally used to in your normal attitude. So we've got some little contrast and your DVR buttons and all that sort of menu there. Your colors, your brightness, that sort of stuff. Uh, and then on this side we've got our little barrel connector for our battery. We have a little uh, AV in port so you can put some little, hopefully that's coming in focus there. Uh, you can run an extra external ground station antenna if you want. You've got some IP adjustment and I'll put it on the screen the lengths that you can adjust those to so that's pretty standard in your goggle the actual shape of the thing seems fairly similar to the other attitudes out there uh, on the top we've got our little button for our little rocker switch which look I'm not the greatest fan of rocking that back and forth. I think I do much prefer the two buttons that you can press. And we've also got our little module, which I'm going to take the lid off just here so you can have a look at this. Um, and then we've got two screens on the front. It comes with, I actually really like the foam that it comes with on here. So it's not going to break like some of the Omway foam or something. This stuff seems to last a lot longer. And our little fan on the top, which you plug in with a little uh, connector from your 2S lead up here. And then we should talk about the module a little bit. And this is kind of one of the stars of the show. I really like this. I didn't realize it when I first picked up the goggle. If you look at this, you can put, you know, like a rapid fire in here. So we do have an option for a module bay, but there is a tiny little piece in here. Let me see if I can get this. There's a tiny little ribbon cable in here, which runs across over to this side. So you can actually hook up one antenna over here, have your other antenna right here. So that's kind of cool that you have a diversity part, diversity system built into this goggle. And I wonder what does that mean in the future? Is Fat Shark going to release another module later that can come in? Maybe you could have three antenna diversity. Or what do you even call that? Triversity? I'm not even too sure. 
it's definitely opening up some future options anyway. And then flipping it over, look, it's a fairly simple goggle. Although the design hasn't changed too much. We've got another star of the show, and this is probably the main one. So we're talking about these screens right here. You'll notice they do look very different to, tra to traditional goggles. A little bit worried about this circle image, and would that be what I was seeing when I was looking through it? But I'm happy to report that is not the case because normally we just see a big flat lens right there. But behind these screens, we actually have some OLED. And that's probably the thing Fat Shark are the most excited for. So we've got a 30 degree field of view. I think it's 600 by 480. I'll put it on the screen. And when you're flying around OLEDs, that's what they use in the HDOs. And when I first tried the HDOs, I was blown away. It felt like I was cheating when you saw through that image. It is ridiculously crystal clear. This one right here, the resolution's a little bit less. The screens are a little bit smaller at 30 degrees. And you are going to notice that. Whether you're going from HDOs to this, you will feel like the screen is a little bit smaller. But it's using that OLED tech. And that means you're going to have better colors. It's going to be a brighter picture. Well, that's what OLED's meant to do anyway. So that's probably something that they're very, very excited about. So if you've ever wanted to try, jump into the hobby and try OLED as your first pair of glasses instead of the LCD side of things. This bad boy from Fat Shark, the Attitude V5, definitely has you covered. Now look, the only other real features I should mention too is we have uh, a little SD card up the top and then you come, you know, with a battery strap. It doesn't go over the top. It's just around the back of your head. You put your battery in the side. The rest is pretty standard stuff. Now moving on to the designer thing and I'm going to say, well look, not too much has changed. It's, it's not really too innovative. They have put in some different screens. I think that's impressive and also the receiver part, but the actual design, the shape of the case, everything like that seems fairly similar so if you've tried attitudes in the past that's exactly what this is going to feel like I really didn't notice any difference between this and all the attitude goggles that I have tried there were only parts that I did think they've done a great job putting that receiver in and having a diversity option straight off the bat is fantastic and also being open to be able to put in some different modules in there is definitely future proof in these goggles and OLED screens well that seems to be the rage it definitely made a huge difference in the HDOs that's why they are so popular expensive but so popular and giving us a budget option that's something that people can get excited about because I understand not everybody has the cash to drop on HDO. Moving on, talking about the quality of Fat Shark, and I don't need to talk too long about this bit because Fat Shark, they make great stuff and they really have some good quality control. So I know I've seen a few videos of there. They're very strict about their quality control. They're very quick to replace and repair any issues that you have. So Fat Shark, it's a very, very safe bet. So that's definitely a massive positive going for them. And then I guess that's going to lead us on to the pros and cons. So positive things I like about this goggle. It's using OLED. You've got a diversity receiver. It's relatively good value compared to some of their other options that are out there. You can change a different module putting in. I, I prefer this foam over the traditional type of foam. Fat Shark has amazing customer support. You've got no issues. They've got a proven track record. There is a lot of things in here that this goggle has got going for it. And then moving on, talking about the things that I would probably like to see in a goggle like this. Again, you've got no on and off switch, which is something a lot of people have been asking for. You still have to plug your little barrel connector, or sorry, you still have to plug your little balance connector into the fan. I don't really like that. I don't like this rocker switch too much. That part kind of annoys me. And look, I do understand this is a value aimed at a value sort of goggle. The module, I'm more than happy with the module. I think that, that's that's fine, especially for what you get in the price you're paying. And the field of view, it's not going to be groundbreaking. It's not going to be as big as your HD V2s or your HDOs. Don't expect anything like that. It's much more suited to the people who like to fly the sky zones, on ways, this style. It all, it's all around that 30 degree field of view. So anyway, that's it on the bench, the text and the specs. What we should do now, let's jump out of the field, fly it around, give you some impressions and I guess some real pilot insight and find out, is this the right goggle for you? Should you be dropping the cash? on this if you're coming into the hobby and it is definitely worth spending money up front to get a good pair of goggles. It's what you see through the drone with and it's definitely something you want to get right. So let's do it. Out to the field. Have some fun in three, two, one. Well, today is the day we finally get to try out. I'm pretty excited about these. The Fat Shark Attitude V5s. What we're going to do, we're going to put it through its paces. You've already seen the text and the specs. Now it's time. Let's take it out, fly it around, show you some DVR, show you my impressions, see what Crash Test Cal, Long Range Tony, see what some of the boys think and find out is this a good value goggle for you? And have Fat Shark really, I guess, listen to the consumer and what we want, or is with still some things you'd like to change? But let's do it. Put it through its paces and have some fun in three, two, one. What we absolutely love is this new battery case. Well, not new, but that they've finally switched over to this because with some 18650s, it's going to last all day. So you don't really need to worry too much about your goggle battery. Putting it on, I do need to change channels. I've got a picture. And probably the crazy part for me is I didn't realize it was diversity. So, you know, just having your inbuilt diversity that runs across to there, that's something that I was like, you put your receiver in, but what's this? That sort of took me by surprise. I wasn't expecting it. All right. Let's go for a little burn. Now on the face, I am noticing the screen. I'm going to put the fan on actually, because it's a little bit muggy. Still no on and off switch, but 
When are they going to have a fan that just runs off the main power supply? Yeah, you know, I, th I think that's a fair criticism because sometimes you might have a different style of battery, so you, you might not want to use this one. You know, you can get just the two 18650 cells that just have the one plug. Now, I do feel like the screen is a little bit smaller, so like Omway size, and the two circle dots in the middle, I guess where the, instead of being the whole square lens, you've got like a circle covering over it. I thought I'd notice that, but it doesn't seem to affect the picture whatsoever. So I'm gonna take this up. This one's just a little bit out of focus for me for a second. My DVR. Yep, that's all working fine. I bet you I can find my remote. No, no. Back, back. I got it. There you go. Imagine it. if it just armed into my face. <laughs> uh, and I'm getting almost zero light leakage. Probably, this looks like I'm picking my nose, but yeah, almost zero light leakage. So I've pushed fairly tightly onto my face. You can see I'd probably loosen the goggle strap a little bit more, but let's take it for a burn and see how they go. Am I near the quad? No, no, you're good. You're good. I'm still freaking out. No, you're good. Oh, yeah, yeah. Well away. And I'm going to try and focus more on the goggles and less on uh, less on what I'm doing with the quad. But just let me, I'm just going to fly around with them for a little bit. I can say the colors look nice. Absolutely. I'm not noticing any distortion. A very clear image. I don't think it's quite as nice as my HDOs. Uh, I know they're both using OLEDs. But, uh, oh, I don't know, actually. It is. Look, it is nice. That's the thing that I'm noticing between the, the Fat Sharks, between the HDOs and these. All right, now I'm going to test out the range a little bit. Seems to be no break up out over here, so we're a fair bit out. Keep, keep going, I've got mine on as well. Yep. I'll tell you when I break up. I'll do that at the end because I don't want to... Um... Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> it is a clear picture, no light leakage. I'm not getting any noise coming through. It seems to be some bug on my neck. To be honest, I think these are a pretty... I'm going to keep going. I'm going to go all the way out to right. this end of, our, end of the property. I've got no break up. Yeah, I don't have any break up either. So A little bit now. I don't have any. I'll go hassle this poor sheep. Yeah. They're probably just like, leave me alone. Man, they couldn't care less. Oh, there we go. Round them up. Round the sheep up. Round the sheep up. You know what? I feel like this is going to be great for people who want to get into the hobby. They don't want to, like, they want a really good, decent pair of goggles, but they don't want to spend HDO amounts and then a rapid fire receiver. This comes with everything. It comes with the receiver, with the antennas, with the battery cases. Yes, you have to get 18650s, but yeah, you've got your module. You've got OLEDs, and I'm telling you, you're not even going to notice the slightly smaller screens and the HDOs after a while. If you're used to flying this, I'm going to just do some laps here. Yeah. If you're used to flying this, uh, it's it's totally more than adequate, and it's kind of nice that we're uh, coming back to the Attitude V5s because this is oh, I clipped the gate. <laughs> What an amateur! So much for talking and flying, but yeah, as I was saying, I think my battery came out. Yeah, it did, it did, so that's fine. It's really nice to come back to here, because this is what I started on. I started on the Attitude V2s. The design hasn't changed too much on this chassis, or the original front part, front, I can't talk properly. This chassis, or original front part, feels very similar to the original Attitude V2s when I started. It's a little bit thinner than the current HDO ones that are out there. It's a very light goggle as well. And I'm gonna say on your face, the fan, everything, there's no light leakage. Uh, they've actually done a really good job. The, so The um, the face seal as well, it's not yeah, foam. They, that's, they, oh, they, that's, yeah, yeah, hey, you're absolutely right. Yeah, on here, they've changed this. So you don't have, uh, it's not gonna peel off and break like some, like on the onways yeah. typically, those seems to come apart. This is gonna last a lot longer and I'm gonna say, for anybody coming into the hobby, I'm going to put this down, and I'm going to say, look, I actually can't believe it. I feel like in the past, I've been very critical of Fat Sharks, and I know they make good products, but I've never really liked their price, and what they've what they've really pushed in terms of innovation, I haven't felt like has really taken it to the next level for versus the price, but this thing, uh, innovative? Mm, well, it probably does have more innovation than any other goggle because we've got this diversity part in here which hasn't really been seen in anything else yet and can still take a module. And the price, we've got the OLEDs, the screens are fine and that price is really getting people into the hobby. So, I don't know, for me, I think uh, thumbs up Fat Shark. But let's see what the other boys think. Long range Tony, we're out here. Fat Shark Attitude V5s. I haven't even let you say anything about them. You've, I know you've wanted to since I pulled them out of the box, but I've kept... Ah, 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 because now I've got you on camera. Ah. What's your first impressions? Um, I hope you like green. 
I yep. think that's the first one. Yep. It's uh, it's a bold choice of color. Look, I believe there might be uh, these might be limited edition in terms of the color. Ooh, there might okay. be normal. But, yeah. I, but I'm not too sure yeah. on that. I'll, I don't know. I think some people will love it, some people will hate it. Yep. But um, I don't know. It's, it's okay. Um, looking at the form factor, very similar to my V3s that I've got. They're a you mean you dominate a V3? Dominate a V3. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, they are a little bit thinner here. Um, I like the diversity inclusion. That's really good, having that. I don't know what the, the module's like, so hopefully the module's got some good reception. I'm assuming that's a Fat Shark generic module but all the buttons and positions look right I, i'm with you on the on the fan i think in today's um there's so many people are modding these to to run off the main power yep and i think it would have been a really good decision to change having a balance lead in here because i always forget to plug it in or i break the balance lead yep and it should be nice to be able to run straight off of this with an on off switch what do you think about having this battery in here oh look i love it i've been running these um, 18650 cases for a little while now mm -hmm. and i i tend to rob 18650 batteries out of old laptops yep just pull them apart and there's always 18650 and they last so much longer too and for your day I've got like 20 of them and I never seem to change them so they're a really good uh, thing to have just be really careful though on the back of the battery case it tells you the polarity of the batteries yep. if you put them in the wrong way around you'll stuff up the battery gauge but otherwise look the goggles um, they look good I'm keen to see what they look like inside let's do it what, are you flying an XJB? I'm flying an XJB Arrow because I've only ever flown with the Dominator V3s so this will be a, uh... ooh, you must have wider eyes than me. I do, I usually have all my goggles set to the out, outer, outer limits. Broad-minded, yeah? <laughs> all right, nice and clear. Um, now, you mentioned that you felt the screen looked small. No, smaller than the HDRs. Yeah, so, I, the, you, yeah, so you I'm go. looking at this, and for me, they don't look small. They are exactly the same size as your ones, as yep. the v 3 So I just didn't mention that. I wanted you, it's interesting that you yep. feel that So way. they they look the same to me. Um, the I just put the DVR on. Now, I'm not going to fire this up into you. Yep. So let's have a... I'm just going to let you go for a little bit of a spin and then yep. I'm going to get right. your impression. Let's so do you, can, you can just sort of take it all in and then get right. back. Tell you what, mate, that quad sounds smooth. What a save. Ah. All right, um, the goggles. So the screen, as, as I said before, looks very, very familiar. It's the same sort of size. It's nice and clear, but it. Um, I must say... I have used your um, your LED, OLED. the OLED ones, yep. and I think they were really good. This, for some reason, I don't know, maybe it's the way the, the screen brightness is set up, but they don't seem quite as bright. Uh -huh. um, it could be my camera, it could be these goggles, but they just seem to be a little bit more subdued in colour than than the OLEDs. They are OLEDs. You mean than the HDOs? Than the HDOs that you have, yeah. Yep. yep. So, um, so many acronyms flying around. Yeah, and it's easy to get lost in all that. As far as the form factor of the goggles go, it fits my face really well. I've got a tiny little bit of light leakage around the bridge of my nose. Yes. Um, but other than that, they're a really comfortable fit. The, the face pad is the same as the one I've just bought for my Dominators, um, and I find that's so much better than the the foam the foam i always felt was a bit bitty and it used to disintegrate um this is really nice um and i think Stu, for 290 odd dollars you know you can't go wrong i know the the aon ways were the the pick of goggles for a little while yep uh, in that sort of budget range but i would say if, if around the 300 buck mark yeah so let's say you're knocking these out for 300 us yeah they're even cheaper than that to right? be honest i actually think why would you if you were getting into the hobby don't buy a set of cheap goggles buy a set of these and these will actually last you for a long time okay you'll be able to fly around with these for a couple of years without genuinely needing something else um my only my only caveat on that is i i haven't really tested out the uh the receiver module yep and I'd be interested to see how good the receiver module is are you getting any break up where we're flying I'm, today oh, look i'm getting nothing i'll just take it out a bit further yep um, now I've got an owl on my other one. Yep. So this is, I've got zero break up and I'm right at the back of the field. So that's probably a couple of hundred meters away. Um, no issue there at all. I've got no break up and if go up. Don't forget your battery. No, no, it's super low. No, no break up at all. So all I right. don't know, I, I, I've got a suspicion that maybe the, the, 
the uh, module is going to be good. So I hope it is, because this is a this is a good deal for people getting into the hobby, Stu. No worries. All right, Tony. All yeah, right. Oh, I better unplug you. Yeah. Your drone. Okie dokie. All right. Final thoughts. Um, You've got a little bit of a mark on your yeah, nose. Yeah, I have. It dug into my nose a little bit. I don't know if you haven't put the, the pad on well enough, Stu. I'm sure it's your fault. <laughs> um, look, I, what what a great option for someone getting into the hobby or even someone that um, needs to replace a set of goggles at $300. Um, less two, less two, than $300. Yeah, 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 yeah. Built-in diversity, so you haven't got to go and buy a module. I yeah. think it comes with antennas does, as well. It does. You know, there's another 20, 30 bucks worth of um, antennas you haven't got to buy. It comes with a case. Yep. Again, there's another. That's another thing that the Dominators never came with that I had. Um, I reckon this is really good and value, OLED. and and it's OLED screens. So and you feel like versus your goggles, uh, you did the notice. size difference. I didn't feel any difference at all. Yep. Um, the only time I felt difference in my goggles was against your HDOs. Yes. But these, but they're yeah, but they're a lot more money. Yeah. So I, I think for the value for money, this is offering all the features I've got in my Dominator V3s. Um, it would be, you'd find it hard pressed to find something that's as good value. I know there's other things coming out. So yeah, I'd like to try some of the other goggles around that mark and, and do a comparison. But for my first $300 pair of goggles, I reckon these are great, a great value. All right, nice. All right. Thanks, Matt. Radio CTC. So we're back here. It's a day of the value goggles, and we've got the Attitude V5s, the new one, like their value range from Fat Shark. Well, yeah. Did you? I'm going to say you started on attitudes, didn't you? Your no, first, no. Weren't your first goggles attitude V2s? No. What were they? They were the Fox goggles from Hobby King. I can't remember even what they were called. All right. They were rubbish. But um, these are pretty good. Uh, there's nothing new to look at it except perhaps this diversity. But uh, yep. these are more or less the same looking kind of fat shark attitudes as what's been around for years. But I'm sure they're a little different internally. Oh, I did also too. They're OLED. Okay, OLED. Yep. That's probably the main difference right there. Yep. Well, they look the part. We've got diversity. See how they go, I guess. Um, is there a brightness? Something for brightness? Uh, I think it's this one here. Yeah. And they've got a 30 degree field of view. They're not quite as comfortable as uh, my Fat Shark HD2s in terms of you know my eye's ability to focus on the screen. Yep. It's slightly out of focus for my eyes, but I'm, not, I'm sure that's not going to be a problem for anyone with young eyes at all. So... Uh, Let's see how they go. They're good enough to fly with, so. So we've got OLED screens, huh? Yep. Wow. Yeah, look, this, it's not bad. Um, look, I've reviewed some other goggles recently that had uh, probably better colour. I've just uh, had a look at the recent Sky Zones, and they're very comparable to these in many ways in terms of price and and size but I tell you what they don't have OLED screens but I think they have a better picture but these are these are pretty decent but like I said for my old eyes I have a little bit of a hard time getting a nice crisp focus I had no problem getting that with the sky zones the fact that it's di diversity I think is a good thing that's uh, really where the attitudes need to head and the fact that they can take uh, other modules, I think, is a big plus as well. And um, if you're looking for OLED screens, this has got them. I'm not sure if that's a, a real big deal, though, compared to some of the other goggles I've, I've looked at recently. So, you mean, so you're not sure which screen you like? Okay, put it this way. Well, that's, which screen did you like better, the screen you're looking at now or the screen on the new Sky Zones? On the Sky Zones. Okay. I've got to say, uh, I, you know, on paper, I would have said, oh, I want the L uh, OLEDs for sure. But after actually uh, using them and flying with them, I've got to say the Sky Zones are, are a better, better quality picture in my, my estimation. Yep, now I'm going to tell you some differences. So these ones come with a battery, well, a battery case and some antennas and a removable module, but the Sky Zones didn't come with, they've got a built-in module um, and no antennas and no battery. But they had a great module, so I don't True. see why you'd ever want to swap True. it out. So uh, look, if for comparing two sets of goggles in the same price zone, it'd be very hard to justify getting these from a perspective of, of picture clarity. But you know, look, if you've got a, a, you might have a rapid fire module, which you've spent a considerable amount of uh, dollars on, you, you might not want that to go to waste. So you might look at a, at a goggle like this that can actually make use of a, a decent module like that. 
So that's the only real plus I can see with this goggle is that it takes modules and it's relatively cheap, you know. All right, so sum it up, Cal's famous few words. A, a step in the right direction, but it's not a, a mind-blowing step forward. Okay, what do you think, who would you recommend them for? Um, anyone starting out in the hobby, any, any new FPV pilots, it would be a, a, a reasonable choice. You can't go too far wrong with Fat Shark. Would you be happy to start with these? If yeah. you might have started back in the day? Yeah, absolutely. Okay. No worries. So anyway, uh, thanks, Cal. I'll let you go pick your drone up. And uh, actually, I'll go get it for you. But no worries. Thanks, Cal. Alrighty. Rightio, so there it is. There's my review with the Attachark. Uh, Attachark. Ad <laughs> Attitude V5 from Fat Shark, and overall, I'm gonna say I've got to take my hat off to Fat Shark. They've really listened to what we want. We want a value all in one package solution. That's exactly what you get here. We also don't want to break the bank. A lot of people can't afford HDOs. This at 300 bucks, you are getting an awful lot of goggle. You pretty much have everything you need to get up, get flying, have a good experience, and you're also gonna have some top notch service from Fat Shark. If anything goes wrong, you can hit them up, and I'm definitely sure they will look after you. Now, it's not perfect. There are some things I'd like to change, like the fan the on off switch uh, I also don't like this little rocker switch right here but you are getting things like OLED you got your receiver comes with a patch antenna so it is definitely an option to consider if you're looking at upgrading your goggles from some of those cheaper box goggles out there now a lot of people out there too you're gonna be asking Stuart which one between the sky zones and also the attitude v5s and it is a really tough choice I'm gonna say that's a great thing that's a great thing for us consumers out there we need more competition in here more options for us to choose from put your comments down below which one would you get but they've definitely got some pros and cons so when you get the sky zones i really like the image in the sky zones i think it's super bright it's 16 by 9 where this one is 4 by 3 uh, this one's got a built-in receiver so you can't upgrade it didn't come with a battery even though it came with like a battery cable you don't get any decent antennas with this thing sky zone support well i'm not too sure how that's going to go in the long run but i really do like flying this goggle and i really really like the fit of this one with the fat sharks i probably actually believe it or not prefer the screen on the sky zones but you can upgrade your module on here if that's something that you want to do you've got amazing support going into the future and you get some amazing antennas so definitely when you factor all those in the each of these goggles has some definite pros and each of them has some we yeah, i guess they have pros and cons over each other so it is a really really tricky choice but it's all going to come down to you guys your personal preference what do you think what do you think is important in your goggles let's put that in the comment down below and that's going to spur on these companies to keep pushing keep innovating and giving us the products that we want but anyway hope you guys enjoyed that definitely subscribe for more fpv related content i've got some more fat shark stuff coming up some of the cheaper box goggles and that sort of stuff i can't wait to show you so anyway hope you guys enjoyed that subscribe for more fpv related content uh put your comments down below what you like about them i really want to know what your opinions about the fat sharks because this is the first time as far as i'm concerned where they've given us such a all-in-one package and i think it's definitely a step in the right direction because Look, HDOs and rapid fires, that's an awful lot of cash. A $300 option is much more attractive. So anyway, on that, subscribe for more FPV related content and as always, happy flying. Right. Tell you what, mate, that quad sounds smooth. Oh, it's so much better. The, 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 it must be something wrong with Beta Flight 4 because it's shit on both my... Um Because it was terrible on both of my um, three-inch quads. The Beta Flight Four. It was so you got back to three point five on both of them, yeah. All right. And it was just really bad. It just so many oscillations. I don't know what was wrong with it.